Hey YouTubers, it is RC here with RC67. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I got a little horse stuff going on right now. I'm not sure what's going on here. But anyway, wanted to showcase a couple of cars for you tonight that I recently got from Greenlight. Um, these cars I, I ordered probably about three or so months ago and they finally came in yesterday. And I finally got a little time here to make a quick video about them. So the first up here on the turnstile is a 1968 Chevy C10 uh, pickup truck. And it's a part of their Hitch and Tow series that came out for the 2023 year. And of course there's the trailer. So let me go ahead and start with the trailer first. <clears throat> so the trailer is all metal. It's all metal. These are rubber tires all the way around, four rubber tires. The ramps do go up and down. You got to be careful though. Um, they're real snug when they get up into this upper part in here. So probably wouldn't push them too hard. And then you got some nice golf tampering here on it as well. You got a, a wheel and tire rack here on the top. These are lenses, these red uh, tail lights on the truck or trailer here. These are lenses of the trailer. And then of course it has a, this is a, uh, your support arm or trailer set jack, if you will, when you pull the trailer off your truck. So uh, that was the first part of this set here. And then the second part here is the Chevy C10. So this is a 1968 Chevy C10 pickup truck. Part of the hitch and toe. So again, it's got really nice gulp livery across here. You can see a little detailing here up with the front with some windshield wipers. Uh, some good little detailing here in the front with some tampering with the, the lights and stuff. It is an all metal base, four rubber, rubber tires. You can see a little bit of detail here in the bottom with the exhaust and the transmission and so forth and the drivetrain. Um, rear tail lights, I believe those are they are lenses actually. So those are lenses in there. And then you got your hitch right there and then your Chevrolet logo across the back. So the one thing I have about Greenlight with this product, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So when I go to hook up this trailer, so it gets hooked up right, right there. If you notice right there, that trailer doesn't rest down on the hitch. So it's got a little bit of play. The plan when I got this was to load a car into it to go into the golf set here. And uh, it'd be like it's towing a car into the track or whatever. So I'm gonna have to probably find a different truck to go with this, just because this hitch here is a little on the low side and this has a lot of play. Cause there's a car I'm gonna showcase for you guys here in a second. I'll show you what I mean. So let me put this aside for now and showcase here this is a 1964 chevy impala ss this is part of their running on empty series this is a beautiful looking car it's got great tampoing on it very very clear tampoing good you're on this side here your 01 golfing livery on the front here with the horsepower of the car it's got some nice detailing here on the front those are obviously tampoed lights lights and stuff and you got some little bit of grill work here with some lights there Around the back, um, those are some tampering lights for the back, but again, very detailed. This is good. And then of course you got a little Chevrolet logo there. All metal body, all metal frame. These are four rubber tires. And again, you can see some good detailing along the back here with the, with the exhaust, the transmission and your drivetrain. I love the wheels on this. These are kind of that stock car of the 60s era. So you got uh, some nice blacked out mag wheels with some black tires and then you got a little red, I'm sorry, it's a blue line with some Goodyear written on it. Now, my one beef with this, the plan was to set this car in that trailer here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Get that car out of the way there. The pl plan was to hook up this truck and trailer and then add this car to it. Here's the problem. As soon as I put that car in the trailer, it lifts it up off this hitch right here so it doesn't lay down. So if I were to pull it, you don't have a lot of pull 
in terms of where it's pulling. And I think the trailer is a little too short for this car. This car obviously is much longer, but that was the initial plan. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is, is find a little bit smaller car in my collection here and put it on here. But I wanna kind of stick with that 60s theme. And uh, I will probably either use the Mercury or maybe the uh, Shelby, Shelby Cobra that I've got and use that. But as a whole though, I do like it. It's a great piece, two great pieces actually. Uh, but again, my only beef is that there's this little issue here where this trailer hitch isn't quite tall enough to really make a good bite on that trailer there. So you got a lot of play up and down there. And the other issue was your jack here, your jack stand for the trailer itself uh, doesn't fit well in this hole to screw it down. And I'm afraid if I keep trying to push on it, it'll actually break it and then I won't have one at all. So, but those are, those are things I've got to deal with with the set. So it gives me a chance to kind of play with things and have a lot of fun with it. So, but anyway, these cars here are the ones I recently got added into the collection. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun to have the, this going on here so i'm pretty excited about it but anyway if you guys would please like comment or subscribe this is rc with rc67 sign out y'all have a great night